and welcome back to my channel. My name is Palina and today I'm going to do a summer makeup and outfit video. The outfit today is a dress from Forever 21. I like it very much and I finally get wet because it's really hot here in the summer. And I'm going to do a makeup look using only 5 products. I see many people posting these videos recently, a summer makeup look using only 5 products in 5 minutes or something like this. And this day I did a makeup look, it was coincidentally only 5 products that I recreated today for you guys. I like the look very much, so without further ado, let's get started. In my 5 products I didn't include tools, so this and lash curler doesn't count. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I'm using the Innisfree brow pencil. I'm going to draw out my eyebrows. I don't have any problem with the shape of my eyebrow. I just shaped them today. I like the shape. I don't have sparse area in my eyebrows. I have a lot of hair, but I don't like the color. See, my hair is black. Because I'm staying so long in the sun, my hair getting kind of dark brown. But my, my eyebrow hairs, they are like gray. And I don't like gray eyebrows. I don't understand why they are dark gray. They're not very pigmented. So I don't like how my eyebrow looks naturally, the color of it. I'm just going to add a little bit of color to them. So that's how my eyebrows look. I'm going to brush them out. Because I have bands, I don't need to define my brows so much. You can do whatever you like with your eyebrows. I don't like the straight style, so I like to get them a little bit curved every time here. So the next product I'm going to use is a concealer. This is from Maybelline, their A Hero One Concealer. This is a new one. I used it last year in my back to school video too. You can wear this look for school if you want to. I'm going to put a little bit under my eyes where I have dark circles. And then... I don't know what happened there. I'm going to blend out the concealer using my salmon sponge. This is a marbled salmon orange and white sponge. I'm going to blend it out. And then whatever is left on my sponge, I bring a little bit over my eyelid because I have a little bit darkness here. But I don't want to cover it intentionally. This concealer is very good and affordable if you are a beginner or a student. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply eyeliner, which is the third product. My pink one from Japan broke, now I'm using the Innis Free Lash Curler. I don't consider this as a product because there's people born with very curly lashes, they don't need lash curler. Wow, those are really lucky people. My eyelashes are so straight. Okay, now to the part where it defines our eyes. This is a Hyper Sharp Liner from Maybelline. This is a red brown color, a reddish brown color. I'm going to draw a wing. I like to start in the middle, almost end of my eye, because I have very hooded eyes. If I start from the beginning, I will look like I have really small eyes. So I go on the end where I have more eyelid space. If you have really hooded eyes, try this out. You can always use a Q-tip. Wet it and then use it to clean our mistakes or make your eyeliner thinner when it's too thick. And then going back again with the eyeliner. So the next step, the fourth product, is a Bad Girl Band from Benefit. It's a mascara from them, the newest one. And to be really honest, I don't like it very much. But I always come back to it and give it a other chance. I never really hate it because I love Benefit. So every time I saw anyone post a picture of this or saying this is my favorite ever mascara and then I want to use it again and give it a chance. But in real, it doesn't hold my curl. It's a volumizing mascara. And this mascara is very wet. So if you have naturally very curly lashes and you want to get them thicker, then this will be a great product for you. But if you want your lashes to be curled, try the Roller Lash Mascara. It's the last one I tried and I really like it. So if this is done, I'm going to use the roller lash again. It's not a product made for me, but it's many people's favorite mascara, so it depends on your lashes. So moving on to the last product, this is a lipstick from MAC in the shade Chili. It's a beautiful orange reddish matte color. I'm going to tap it over my lips. If I apply this straight, this will look too red, but I'm going to get a little more orange nude side of it. I'm tapping it lightly and blow it out with my fingers on my lips. You can do this several times to get the coverage you want if you find the lipstick is too pigmented or too intense. And I'll use a little bit on my face too. There's people who like to use lipsticks and splash. 
I tried it many times too, but I like only using the matte lipsticks. Matte lipsticks feel more like a powder, so I won't feel sticky on my face. I don't want to use a shiny lipstick on my face, a satin one or a glossy one. This will feel sticky and ugly. It's not made for your face after all. So we'll do this. Sometimes when you apply blush, it looks very intense, but then after a few minutes, this will go away. You can also use a sponge to blend it out. So this is the finished look. Great day and see you all next time. Bye!